All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about how to find anyone's email address. Um, I have a list of leads here, and I'm gonna show you how to find the emails of the CEOs of these agencies. My name is Jacob Tuwan, I've closed nearly a million in contracts in the first six months at X27, a marketing agency that specializes in cold email outreach, and we've actually generated close to, or more than $100 million in closed business for our clients in the last half decade with cold email as a primary driver. So in today's video, you're gonna see how I find emails and I'm gonna show you an obvious way to do it with a really cool tool, uh, along with a secret trick that um, I don't think a lot of people actually know about and you can find even more value in my lead generation training document that will show you how to find the right companies, how to find the decision makers at these companies and how to find their emails and how to do all this cool stuff. So I highly recommend that you check out um, this training document because it will, it will give you a lot of value. In fact, one of my students actually closed his first client after downloading the document. So how do you do it? Well, I'm assuming you already have your lead list built out here with company name, website, position, first name, last name, etc. cetera. Um, this is the first step. If you don't know how to do this, grab the document. The next thing that you can do is get the Hunter for Sheets add-on, right? There's a tool called Hunter.io, which is pretty popular for finding emails. You can also use a tool like Walla Norbert um, there are tools that can pull emails from LinkedIn accounts. So there's a lot of different ways you can find someone's email address. I'm going to show you how to use Hunter. It's pretty simple, um, but uh, there are a lot of ways to do it. And I actually have a trick that you can use in the uh, lead generation training document. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to add-ons, get add-ons, and you're going to search for Hunter once it loads. Okay, so Hunter, once this works, what the heck? There you go, Hunter for Sheets. And you're going to install it. I already have it installed. So once it's installed, you go to Add-ons, Hunter for Sheets, you click Open. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, the column of the first name is column D, last name is column E, domain name is column B, company name is column A, hit Find. And Hunter's gonna go ahead and start looking for their emails. Um, Sometimes I won't actually find their email, and that's okay. You can actually guess someone's email as well. Uh, and I'm going to show you a cool way to do that. So in this case, we only managed to find actually five emails out of the 11 or so leads that we had here, which isn't so good. Some niches are harder than others to find the email, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how you can use a different trick to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and type in email permutator in Google and find this website. It's the first result uh, right here. You can just click email permutator and it will show up. Then you're going to add the person's first name and last name. I think this one wasn't able to be found because it had a weird, um, this, they had a weird name probably here as well. So I'm going to delete these because they have weird names. Um, let's try Josie. So we're going to type in, what we're going to do is we're going to add their website in the website column without any www or anything like that. Their first name is going to go in the first name column and their last name is going to go in the last name column and we're going to click permutate. And this is going to spit out a list of 34 of the most common variations um, at, this, at this company. And the way that we're going to check is we're going to click on compose and we're going to just paste all of them in here after we copy them. And what we can do is hover over all these emails. And as you can see, when her name pops up, her face pops up here, and these four icons show up, that means it's a real email. This one is not valid, so there's no four icons. Sometimes you can actually find an email that has no profile picture, but they do have four icons. And what that means is that they actually have uh, a Gmail account, G Suite or Gmail. So if this is, is here, these four blue icons are highlighted, it's a valid email. And if these icons are here, if they're not here, it means it's not valid. So if they have a profile picture set up, it's definitely an email, but that doesn't always have to be the case. What you're really looking for are these four icons. So now that we have that, what you can do is to find it. This time it was, a, it was the first time, it was the first email that we tried was, was right. But you can hover over all of these different emails to try and find the one that works. And once you find the right one, you can go ahead and paste it back in here and just call it valid. And now what you have is you have their email right there, bam. Um, and you can do this for any email. And in fact, that trick, by the way, where you're validating emails will work if the email is catch-all. And some emails are catch-all, like this email could be catch-all, but you can see that these emails all have the four icons there. It means that they're valid. So 
This is how you can find anyone's email. You can use hunter.io, and then if you want to try and figure out the person's email by guessing, you just use the email permutator. You copy and paste it into the permutator, and you see if you can find the email. Now, it doesn't always work. You might not always be able to find the person's email. Um, they might not have a Gmail account, or they might just not have an email. Um, and if that's the case, you're at, kind of out of luck. <laughs> uh, so maybe not anyone's email, but most people's emails, especially in an easy niche, you can find their email. So let me try this one more time and see what we can do here. Can we guess this guy's email? There it is, once again. Two times in a row, it was just first name at company.com. Sometimes you have to hover over a few different emails, but as you can see here, we're finding everyone's email just by doing this. So uh, I hope that helps. By the way, if you want to learn how to um, validate these emails like with a, to reduce your bounce rate, let me know in the comments and I can make a video about that. Um, and please like the video if you got value from this. It really helps me out and helps more people find the video. If you want help with lead generation and how to generate leads quickly, efficiently, and in a way that, you know, this training is so easy, it's so broken down step by step with very short videos, you could give it to a virtual assistant and have them do this for you for cheap, and you would have leads generated for you that are accurate and, and cheap and fast. That's a great way to do that. You can click the link down below to grab that training document. And lastly, if you want my help with cold email or sales consulting, you can click the link in my description to book a call with me, and we'll run through what you're doing, and I'll give you some tactical feedback on the, on the ground level for you to improve. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.